important if you have like any knee injuries. Uh, so a lot of guys they they, they think that he was just having this deep hook in. And but like, you can put a lot of stress on your knee, especially if the guy's pushing your knee down, and I'm trying to force my knee back in, or just from my ankle, trying to get my ankle in there if I don't have the mobility. I can put a lot of stress trying to reach, reach that ankle in. Uh, so one variation that I like to use is just controlling the pant. When I control the pant, I'm going to have my palm facing towards the mat. And just keep a strong grip because if he tries to pick out, pick up. I can really hold that grip. It's very strong. Okay, so now, so you can play daily hebo like this. There's going to be times, and I might address like when you, you want that deep daily hebo hook in. But otherwise, I like to keep the pant grip. And look, I'm just going to turn my knee into his leg. And I'm just going to change the angle so you guys can see a little bit better. So look, I'm, I'm just turning my knee in. You see how that makes him buckle a little bit? Of course, I don't want to you know, hurt his knee, but I need to keep him here. The opposite is if I'm too loose in my hip, he can push my knee down. And he's, he can kind of deconstruct his daily heva position. So whenever I'm playing daily heva, I need to keep some pressure on his knee. Try to push my leg down. So that's the battle, guys, OK? And I don't necessarily need that hook in to do that pressure with my leg. Okay. From here, I like to do like a lot of setups for a setup guard. For instance, if he's trying to grab my pant leg, I can break this grip and push it straight on his leg. Or I might do, if I don't have a lot of time, I might just do all, all of those steps in one. So I break and push. From here, I can set up. So I want you guys to keep tension on that leg, okay? A lot of guys, they go to sit up and they take both legs off. And now he can, he can push me back down pretty easily. Alright? So again, controlling the pant, pressure your knee in, break the grip, push his thigh away. So I'm going to keep both grips as I sit up, and I might even use that daily heva side leg to rock. Okay? Just to help me come up easier. Alright, from here, keep pulling this leg to you, okay? Because if, he, if, he, if I'm not putting any pressure here, look how much space there is between me and him. So there's no connection. Yeah, he's going to get out of there. So I want to take that space away. Okay? Keep the, the sleeve grip. From here, I can grab for his lapel. And I like to do the same side as the sleeve. A lot of guys, they kind of have it mixed up. But I, th I think it works a lot better. You're going to have a better pull with everything on the same side. Okay? And now the last detail. I can rip here really, really easily. Or I can... Bring the daily heel hook in and use that to turn him. Okay? Now I'm gonna let go of his sleeve, push off his, his tricep, and now I can take both of my legs out because they're kind of sliding off. And if he if he goes down on his knee, I, I'll just come up. I can just come up and bulldoze him over. Or if he goes, if he stays up, it's fine. I'm gonna post off his arm to my hand, and now I can stand up. And look guys, I want to keep that grip so it makes his leg lighter. If I lose that grip, you see how his leg goes to the floor? I want to keep that grip and keep your leg to the floor. It's going to make it very hard. As I stand up, I'm going to grab two on one on that same side lapel. And now I can either bring him forward to the ground or I can take him backwards to the ground. Okay. So one more time, a little bit quicker so you guys can see. So I had to do with Eva. Without the hook, and so now I pressure in with my knee, control his arm because he's normally going to try to stuff this, right? That's what I would do. So as he goes to grab, I break, push his thigh away. Now I sit up. When I sit up, don't leave a lot of space. A lot of guys they leave like all this elbow space. He can underhook me. Okay, and uh, there are some moves I can do from there, but just for you guys to be safe and smart. Keep that elbow tucked to your body. And look, I let go of the pant and go up to the knee. And I can take a little pit stop and grab my own lapel or just keep your hand open. But what I'm looking for is to pull that knee towards my chest while keeping tension on that leg. From here, I can grab the, the collar. If he's loose on this, I can even pass it between his legs and switch my grip. Okay. From here, I'll just rip it and take him down. I'll just show one. Sometimes it's kind of hard to pass that. You know, guys are very strong, yeah. So it's very tough. So it's going to be easier for me to just keep this and grab the little pelt between his legs. 
from here. Again, I can rip it, or I like to bring that daily heave hook in. And look how I place it. I'm not going on his balls, guys. I'm kind of going on his thigh. And look, I just tilt him forward. Let go of the sleeve. I take my legs out as I post on his arm. I can even post on my elbow a little bit too to help me scoot out. As he stands up, I'm gonna follow him, keep controlling his leg and the collar, two on one lapel, and I can take him down from here, guys. And just one more detail, I, I will use that daily heel hook. This is more if I go over here, and he's, he's uh, kind of going down on one knee. Yeah, there. Now I'm gonna, instead of keeping pressure here, it's gonna be a lot easier to keep my daily heel hook in. And this is where we would do like the bolo or off balance, so just to demonstrate. I can go off the pant leg or switch to like a, a deeper grip, whichever one you guys prefer. And look like an off balance. To start my bolos, okay? Alright guys, hope this helps. Peace out.